Hi, children of God. How are you guys? So I want to talk to you guys about something because I know a lot of you guys, you're very sensitive in spirit. I'm not going to say sensitive as in like you get angry fast or you get sad fast. No, you're very sensitive in spirit as in like you feel when something is off, you know when something and someone's doing you wrong and it's it's, it's, it's like offensive. It's kind of like you really think I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing it and I can see the spiritual aspect of what you're doing and I'm supposed to just be quiet I'm supposed to just be still and I'm not supposed to have no reaction to it because you you have like because you have that anointing it's like you can see through layers okay you can see through layers people can look at something and they'll see it for what it looks like in the physical but you can see through the layers because you're seeing more in depth of everything right so that makes you more emotional. So I'm going to give you guys something. I'm going to tell you guys something that's going to make you guys look at things from a different perspective. And I love the way how God explained it to me because the way he explained it to me, I was like, holy spirit, this is so true. And I bet a lot of us looked past this, you know, because we, of course, we're humans. We still have flesh. We still sometimes are fleshly and, we, and also we are very sensitive in spirit. So we're going to obviously take things more offensive especially when we know what's happening behind the layers right so god said a lot of you guys are trendsetters see you are trendsetters which means that because of your anointing because god when you're anointed and you're and you have gifts like that god can give you things ideas in the spiritual and when god gives you ideas <laughs> your ideas are gonna be you know massive like your ideas are good there's no way your idea is gonna flop if god gives the idea to you because when god gives you an idea it just means that your idea is gonna take off and when people see that your ideas take off because they know exactly where you're getting it from because you're getting it from the source basically they know you're anointed it becomes a trend it's like you start setting a trend because everybody knows your idea is going to take off. Everyone hops on your idea. Everyone jumps on that idea. And some people, they do it because they're inspired by you and because they know that, you know, everything you do is positive. They'll do the same things because they're inspired by you. But it's not out of no malicious intentions. It's not out of, I'm going to copy you or mimic you because you know, I want to steal from you. It's more so I'm going to hop on the trend because, you know, I'm going to hop on the trend because I know the trend's going to take off and it's positive and I'm inspired. And they'll also either give you credit or if they don't give you credit, it's kind of like they, they, they follow your trend in a positive way and the intentions are pure. Do you see what I'm saying? Let me give you an example. Like music, you know, some people may stay on a specific... Um, and this is happening right now. Like everyone's getting back into like the dance beat kind of thing. And, you know, and it's going to become a trend. Everyone's going to start doing it. Like now you're going to start seeing everybody doing that dance beat, literally. Um, but it's a positive trend because for a long time, music has been bringing us down. Do you get what I'm saying? Like music has been really pulling us down and letting us dwell in our depression and our anger and our anxiety. We need something that's going to want us to get get up, get up out of our homes, get up at the depression and just start moving and start dancing. We need something that's going to uplift us, right? And same thing with like, you know, when you use your anointing in other areas, like whatever your God gift God gave you, whatever area you're using it in, it becomes a trend. When, it, uh, when people know you're anointed, it becomes a trend because it's something positive. It's something good. It becomes a trend. And the good thing about it, like I said, is you're uplifting people. But the, the annoying thing about it is because y'all can see through layers. Not only is, a, is it a trend and positive people will hop on it, but because it's such a trend you're gonna have your haters and your enemies hopping on it but it's gonna be a different type of vibe that you're getting from your enemies and your haters it's gonna be more like i don't like you and i because when it's a trend people don't copy everything detail to detailed okay when it's a trend they just copy the the basic the outline so let's just say that you're creating a swimming pool and there's no water in the pool, okay? Um, you created your own swimming pool and then you added your own water to the pool. And that's just the that's your foundation, that's your idea, whatever. 
when it becomes a trend, it's like people will create the layer of the swimming pool, but they'll put other things inside the pool. So now the person that copies the layer of your pool, they make they may instead of doing like a square shaped layer like yours, they may do a heart shaped pool. And instead of throwing water in it, they may put foam in it or they may put bubbles in it or they may put like you know those little bouncy balls a bunch of bouncy balls in it you know what i mean so it's not copying your idea to the detail that's what trends are it's like when people mimic something in a positive way but they kind of turn it into their own in a positive way because they're inspired by you but everyone knows it's you right where now when someone copies you details for details it's no longer a trend there's a difference you see it's no longer a trend yes they're copying the concept of the trend they're copying the outline but when it comes to haters they will mimic every single detail like they'll copy your every move and god was telling me upstairs when i was talking to him and he gave me this message actually two days ago too but he was saying, this is why most of you guys are like, why does this person not like me, but they still keep watching me? Why? You get what I'm saying? Because they have to copy every single detail what you're doing. They don't, and, and the, here's the thing, the way they do it is they copy every single detail and then they try to turn it into their own, but it's hard for it to be turned into their own like a trend if it's being copied detail for detail, right? So, and, and here's the thing, the way how they try to do it is they try to make it seem like it's theirs, like they came up with it. Whereas a trend, everyone knows that that original baseline of the idea is not theirs. Everyone knows it's a trend compared to someone taking that trend and trying to turn it into their own and saying they did the whole thing. They may not say it, but action wise is what they're, they're, how they're showing it, right? And the reason why that may trigger some of you guys, like basically God will give you an, an idea, you're anointing, your enemies watching you, and then you start noticing your enemies are doing exactly what you're doing, detailed for detail. Um, whether it's, whether it's like, let me give an example. So the pool idea I gave you. So let's just say you created the, a square outlining of a pool and you put water in it and then it becomes a trend. Everyone's doing their own different type of shape, but the base idea came from you, but everyone's turning into their own in a positive way, right? what the enemy will do is they will they will do detail for detail so they'll create their pool like a square um they'll put water in it and here's what they'll do it's like everything will be the same but they'll kind of swiffle around the water and then they'll make it seem like they created it right and here's what god was showing me that's happening to many of you guys the reason why many of you guys are frustrated even though you may not be um, focused on what they're doing you just know they're stealing from you and it's because you like I said you're able to see through the layers right and the reason why it frustrates you is because a lot of you guys you feel like wow I can't have nothing it's like everything I you give me God every idea you, you give me every move you tell me to make it's like the ones that are mainly copying my every move and details are the ones that don't like me and it's frustrating because you guys are basically saying this is how people take things from me this is how this is how people steal things from me and God told me something so specific that's so important and here's what he told me he said that you have to understand that remember everything that God created the devil tried to mimic the gifts Everything that God did, Satan mimicked. You remember that, right? Everything that God did, Satan mimicked. But, and it was never the original. So what did Jesus say? Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. So where does Satan belong? Behind him, right? Because Satan can never be in front of God, right? When God gives you an idea straight from the throne or information straight from the throne, and it's from you, you have to remember that anyone that mimics that is behind you. Do you get what I'm saying? Also, what God was saying, this is how you're going to look at things from a different perspective now. God is saying, if Satan can mimic everything that, try to mimic everything that he did, what makes you think that your enemies won't try to mimic everything that you do <laughs> you know what i'm saying so when he said that to me i was like oh my gosh the devil does try to mimic everything you do god so
So you have to look at it like, okay, if the devil mimics God, creator of all things, the devil tries to mimic everything God does, right? But he tries to twist it into his own. Do you get it? So look how God created create everything and God did so much wonders, right? The devil will try to twist everything into dark. Everything that God does, the devil mimics and tries to twist it into dark. When you have a hater following you and they mimic everything you do, they watch your every move, they will mimic every detail and try to turn it into their own. But guess what? You have to understand. Even though the enemy does that to God, that does not make God less powerful. Do you get what I'm saying? Because that does not change the fact that God is still more powerful than the devil. That doesn't change that. So the, that's why, you know, so that's why God allows it. It's like, it doesn't change God's position. Do you get what I'm saying? And God knows that anyone that chooses to follow the devil, knowing that the devil's mimicking him or mocking him, it's kind of like these people know right from wrong. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, and God has to get, help these people come out to repent. Like he tries to wake them up to repent. It's that, it's not that you're God. You, none of us are God. But God told me to think of that concept as when people try to take things from us and mimic us and try to twist it, that's darkness. Because it's like they're trying to twist something they know that doesn't belong to them, that wasn't given to them. But at the same time, that does not make you less powerful. That does not make you less anointing. Anointing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He just corrected me on that. That is not God is powerful, but that does not make you less anointed. And the problem is because we see people do that, it discourages us. But why would we become powerless, you know, when we know that that them doing that does not make us less anointed? If anything, it's like they're kind of behind you because it's like they have to watch your every move to mimic you. So it means you're ahead. And you know what else God told me? He said, you should never feel ashamed for being a leader. As long as you're doing the right thing and you're positive and you're doing what God approved you to do, you should never feel ashamed for being a leader. Because that means that God has appointed you to be that leader. Right? So even though those who don't like you mimic every detail about you, just remember something that does not make you less anointed. That does not make you less powerless. Okay? Because... Everything that God gives you is straight from the throne room. So you have direct access to the source. Okay? <laughs> it's like you're the plug. <laughs> okay? You're the plug. And the thing about it is if people know that and they choose to continue to support those who keep mimicking you and making a mockery out of it, because when they make a mockery out of it, it's like they, the enemies will mimic you and they'll purposely try to taunt you with the fact that they're mimicking you. They want It's like no one else will know, but they'll kind of like try to throw it in your face to upset you. But you have to remember something. Those who actually know this and choose to support those who mimic you on purpose and make a mockery out of it, you don't need them supporting you anyways. You don't need them supporting you anyways. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, who wants to who wants to rock with those who actually support? Who wants to roll with those who support the losing team? Does that make sense? So you wouldn't want that type of vibe with you anyways because everything that you do is on a higher level because you're getting it directly from source, right? So someone needs to hear this because someone is going through a situation. When God explained it to me, I was like, I've already been through all this in the past. But the way how God showed it to me, it was from a new perspective. And, you know, someone needs to hear this because I feel like someone is really allowing this to eat them up and get under their skin to where now they're feeling discouraged to where now they just want to give up. And it's kind of like, why would you lower your, like, why would you lower yourself or even dim your light? Um, you get what I'm saying? Or try to hide away when you are the lamp of the world. Like, why would you try to even hide away because someone else chose to, steal your things or mimic you when you're ahead because god gave it to you do you get what i'm saying so just remember that okay i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye